Hey everyone, Andrew here. สวัสดีครับ。皆さんこんにちは。日系カナダ人のアンドリューです。慣れてないですね、タイ語は。Well, today is the day. I am finally heading to Bangkok, Thailand. It's been a long wait, but it was well worth it. I'm headed there for work, but with this pandemic, obtaining that visa was much easier than getting the letter called a COE or Certificate of Entry. It consists of many forms, including proof of insurance that covers all COVID-19 related sicknesses, work permit from the Thailand Immigration, proof of ASQ or Alternative State Quarantine hotel booking, proof of Flight booking and a negative certification for a PCR test that was done within 72 hours of travel, etc., etc. Lots of planning around getting the necessary paperwork, as you can't get one without another. Anyway, now that I'm cleared to fly, I'm at the Haneda International Airport in Tokyo, and it is quiet in here. Only a few flights, including my flight to Bangkok today. The check-in process took a long time, as the agents needed to confirm that I had all the necessary paperwork. But this is Japan Airlines, after all. The agents were polite, efficient, and thorough with their procedures. My two good friends, Demi and Kauri, came to see me off. I really appreciate them taking their time off from their busy schedule to do so. Thank you, you guys. I had my last authentic Japanese sweets before my flight and went into the security area. Goodbye, Japan, for now. Jane. Today's flight is Japan Airlines Flight 31 to Bangkok, and I'm in business class. This flight is normally a scheduled flight, but with this pandemic, all flights to Thailand are cancelled, with the exception of some flights that are approved by the Thai government as special flights. You can't get on these flights without the COE that I mentioned earlier. I was lucky enough to get a free flight change from the ticket that I had previously purchased. If not, I would have paid over 3,300 Canadian dollars for just a one-way ticket. The aircraft is a 777-200, which is scheduled to be retired in the next few years. I hear the Airbus A350s will replace them gradually. The aircraft itself is clean and well maintained, despite the retirement schedule. I do remember working on a few 777s in my flight attendant days, and will certainly miss this aircraft once they are retired. I was seated in 1K by the window. And the business class was about half full. These flights to Bangkok are usually fully booked, so it certainly shows the impact that this pandemic has on the airline industry. The seats are a reverse herringbone style, called the Sky Suite Three. There is ample legroom for me to sit in, and each seat comes with a simple amenity bag. Flight attendants are welcoming, polite, and efficient as usual. Within 20 minutes, the doors are closed and we are ready to taxi. The sun was shining brightly. And was able to see the great view of Tokyo for the last time.
I chose the Japanese dish for my lunch, and I'm always so impressed with the presentation of their in flight meals. There were some items that I couldn't eat, such as abalone, crab meat, and shrimp, but other items were delicious and filling. The main was a fish and chicken dish, which were both aroi, or delicious, in Thai. A short six hour flight later, and we were descending into Bangkok's Swarnaboom Airport. Unlike upon arrival in Japan, the deplaning was quick and there were airport staff everywhere showing us the way to the processing section. After a long walk down the arrival hallway, we were met with a team of staff dressed in full PPE who helped us organize our paperwork, take our temperature, and get through immigration and customs. I was able to breathe in some Bangkok outside air while I waited for my shuttle car to pick me up and take me to my quarantine hotel or ASQ hotel. Only one passenger per SUV and they sanitized all of my bags before loading them into the truck. The ride was about 80 minutes as we were fighting some serious rush hour traffic but we made it to the hotel safely. Another staff member with full PPE gear greeted me at the parkade level and escorted me up the lobby. The lobby is quite modern and impressive, but eerie without lights, guests, or staff.
after the first PCR test, the kind staff escorted me to my room, room number 2323, and gave me a quick tour of the unit as well as how to place a meal order via their QR code. I will be ordering three meals a day for the next 15 days and they will be delivered to my door. Since I won't be able to leave the room for the first seven days, I asked for a suite that is twice as large as the regular rooms. I'm really glad I did that, as I would probably go nuts being cooped up in a small room for seven days. I'll share with you my quarantine life in my next video, but if you have any questions, please share in the comment section below. Please help me out and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Stay safe wherever you are and see you in my next video. Ciao for now. Jane.